Hi everyone and welcome to another Woman to Woman Friday video. So I know I said I was going to do these every Friday but I decided to just kind of do them on a Friday but whenever I felt like it because it was a bit too much um, pressure to do it every week because I couldn't come up with topics every single week and I thought you might get bored of it as well. But today is a very very serious subject and it's a subject that's very personal to me and very close to my heart because today we're going to talk about body dysmorphic disorder which is shortly known as B. And I am just going to first of all do the kind of clear disclaimer that I'm not a shrink, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a therapist. I'm not qualified to diagnose anybody or diagnose myself or talk about the subject in a way that um, is kind of clinical. So this is just kind of my personal struggles with it, my personal um, opinions about the subject and what I think you can do to kind of help it. I'm not saying that I'm an expert on it and I am going to put loads of sources of information in the down bar if you go and have a look at the first one being the NHS um, body dysmorphic disorder page where they kind of give you a lowdown of what it actually is. So I'm going to put that down there. So maybe go and read that um, before you start watching this video just so you can kind of get a totally clear image of what it is. But um, body dysmorphic disorder basically means that you see a much, much more exaggerated flaw than anyone else sees. And the difference between just having a bit of a fat day or you thinking that you've got a big bum when no one else does, that isn't quite the same as actually having a body dysmorphic disorder. It has got... Um, loads of different links to kind of eating disorders at times or depression and that's the kind of very serious aspect of it but it's something that a lot a lot a lot of women suffer from and you might not even know that you're suffering for it, from it and you might think it's totally normal but it is something that's very very serious you can do a little test online where you answer a series of questions and it helps to kind of determine whether or not you suffer from this this is as i said by no means um better than going to see somebody about it and diagnosing it properly but it's just an interesting sort of little thing to see and I answered the test and I thought you know it'll say that I've probably got maybe a slightly kind of light disorder something like that I thought because I know that I have got a bit of a problem with body image um, and I filled it in and much to my horror it came out with my result and I will read you my result now. My result said, more than seven items check, there is a high possibility that you have BDD. You, must, you most likely have a great amount of distress related to what, you, to what your perceived significant flaw is with your body. It's likely you spend a considerable amount of time checking your appearance, attempting to change or camouflage it and avoiding situations in which you fear others may observe your perceived body flaw. And that is so accurate um, for me. I definitely definitely think that everyone else can see whatever flaw it is generally with me it's my size and my weight um and i think that everyone can see it i think that everybody's thinking about it and i think that i definitely have a little bit more um of a problem than your average person i don't know anybody in my personal life who struggles with it as much as i do um by any stretch of the imagination i definitely definitely think that kind of i'm quite an extreme case in my personal life and it's something that i've always always dealt with i've always struggled with i've um never really thought of it as that much of a problem but I've always kind of been aware of the fact that I struggle with it more so than others because I just think that I've I've dealt with it for such a long time that I've kind of trained my brain to just automatically think it and you know I have all these perceived flaws now that's not to say that the flaw that you you think you have isn't actually a flaw because it can totally be a flaw it's just not as serious and kind of life altering as we make out it is because we're so unhappy about it and I'm gonna put that test down below so you can go and do it yourself and see um, how you feel about it but you know don't you don't have to panic and sort of think oh my god I've got BDD it just means that you're um, very much more aware of it than the average person and I think that you you tend to just get on with life and don't dwell on it too much until you actually realize that there is something really not quite right here and that you really do have a major problem um, that isn't the same if it's affecting your life it's affecting your relationship if it affects where you go um, and how you feel 
then it's a very serious thing. And I've got an example where um, a couple of nights ago, people, a couple of friends came around unannounced and I didn't know anyone was coming so I just had a t-shirt and some kind of jogging bottoms on and um, no makeup on. I did have my makeup on but I'd taken it off because it was already evening and I was going to go and have a shower and they turned up and I was absolutely mortified. I didn't want them to see me looking like that. I didn't want them to see me looking anything but my best and I like it really did irritate me annoyed me and I felt really strange about it and afterwards I sort of was thinking that most people would kind of just get on with it and wouldn't really dwell on it and think about it too much but it really did bother me I kind of didn't really want um to be looking kind of so scruffy if that made sense um not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just I didn't feel comfortable with it. And I definitely still, you know, will compare myself to other women who are really tiny and really slim and kind of effortlessly slim. And I definitely think that my body problems are in my head. I know that they are and everyone says it and I know that they are. But it doesn't stop them from being in my head sometimes as well. And, you know, like in my head, I'm still a little bit chubby. Whereas probably most people would sort of say, you know, what is wrong with you? You're perfectly slim. But in my mind, I'm still a little bit chubby. And it's not something that, you know, controls my life completely now. I used to be much, much, much worse. But it is still something that bothers me and that I find hard to... I find it hard to just kind of let it go and to not think about it too much and I think a lot of us know people who suffer from this and it's when you have something that you think is a real serious issue and no one else really sees it and we all have those things you know you might think that your skin is really horrific when no one else really notices it and you might have a real insecurity and a real complex about it but a lot of the time it definitely is something that we create ourselves and we kind of intensify ourselves and we decide that it's something that's really terrible and you think everyone looks at it and one of the questions was are you constantly trying to change it and with me the answer was definitely yes I'm always you know trying to lose a bit of weight I'm always trying to work out I'm always trying to kind of better myself and whereas there's nothing wrong with bettering yourself I think sometimes you need to kind of think of the reasons why you want to do it and that's kind of the main issue here and I know if you've got a friend for example who suffers from this it can be super frustrating because you don't see what their problem is and it's something that upsets them so tremendously and you can't understand what's wrong with them and it can be really frustrating for you as well because you just don't know how to help them because you don't understand it and you have to realize that sometimes it's not really something that they can control it's not really something that they have um, they it's not really something that they have control over and have the knowledge to be able to stop doing it because you don't really realise how much of a problem it actually is. And I can definitely say about myself that I have it and I kind of have always known that I had it um, and a couple of people had kind of pointed it out to me over the years and I kind of said it wasn't that serious but after reading a lot about it and doing a lot of research for this video and um, reading a lot of the symptoms and the behaviour patterns, I definitely do think that I probably do, but um, I don't think that, you know, I need to go and have therapy for it necessarily. I think I'm kind of working through it alone and these videos help me work through it a lot as well. But that's kind of my little um, talk about BDD. I hope you enjoyed this. If you think that you suffer from it, then I'd love to know your experiences. If you've done the little survey, I'd love to know what your um, result was. And if you've got any other recommendations or questions or anything about these types of topics, then don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. And I'll do my best to get back to everybody. And I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you soon.